Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Dr. Phone and welcome back to a brand new video. And today what we're going to do is have a look at when you have that problem when Apple CarPlay just doesn't work. If you've updated your iPhone to iOS 16 recently, you'd have seen that there are some bugs that make it a bit more difficult for CarPlay to sometimes work. And then you're just sat there with an inoperable CarPlay. And in today's video, we're going to show you how exactly you can fix that nice and easily. But before we get into the video properly, if you're new here, then why not subscribe? to the channel and of course hit that little bell icon as well so you don't miss any videos that we upload on the channel but for now let's get into the video and show you how to fix a broken carplay Before we get into the video properly, let's talk about why CarPlay might not actually work and go through a couple of those reasons. And the first reason why Apple CarPlay might not work is that your iPhone might not even be compatible with CarPlay. And the reason for this is that older phones, especially those phones like the iPhone 6 and below just aren't compatible with using iOS's and Apple's CarPlay. And of course, your car might not actually be able to connect to CarPlay either, even if your phone can. So sometimes you might be thinking it's not working. Well, in fact, actually, you just don't even have it on your device because it can't be compatible. But then you might be thinking, well, I do have a really good iPhone and I have a decent car as well. So why is CarPlay not working? Well, actually, you might be in one of those very small regions where Apple CarPlay is not supported this is actually quite rare but there are some regions around the world where even if you have an iphone it is working absolutely fine but apple carplay sadly for you in that region is not supported and that's why it doesn't work one of the most common problems though with carplay not actually working is that when you need it to work you actually have to have the siri part enabled on your phone and you need to make sure that that is there and ready to go otherwise carplay won't work and then finally, it might just be the smallest problem of all time, and it might just be that your phone isn't connected to your car properly, whether this be through wireless CarPlay or through plugging it in through a USB. If it's wireless, you need to do a little bit of troubleshooting to make sure that can work. If it's wired, you just need to make sure that that cable works and that that is plugged into your car and iPhone securely and connected, then CarPlay might just work. Sometimes some of the issues are mostly just in the software, whether that be with the phone and the iPhone or with the car. And we're going to show you a way in how you can fix that now. But we're going to mainly focus on fixing that issue within the phone. And there is a piece of software that you can use called Dr. Phone to help you with that. The impressive system repair facility provides an easy environment with progressive controls over the device. There are multiple features that make system repair for iOS a special tool to work with. And let's find out more about these features in detail. And all you have to do is just follow these next steps and they're nice and easy. You must download and install Dr. Phone on your computer and proceed to select the system repair option from the list. As you continue to the next screen and select repair now, following this, you will have to define the mode of repair, which will be a standard repair. This will then lead to put your iOS device in recovery mode. If you are aware of the procedure and put your device in recovery mode successfully, you must click enter recovery mode. For those who face the issues, they must select guide to recovery mode and follow the on-screen instructions. Once the device gets into recovery mode, you will be directed to a new screen for selecting an appropriate iOS firmware. Select and continue by clicking download against any firmware version. Then just ensure that the iOS firmware is downloaded and verified by the platform. Once it's done, click repair now and then install it successfully on your device. And then that is everything. Your device is repaired, ready to go and get CarPlay working again. Now, let's have a look at using your phone itself to fix some of these issues where CarPlay is not working. And all these are free methods and they're tried and tested so they work perfectly. And the first one might just be that you are on an old version of iOS and you need to update it. So this is what you would do. It's really easy to go into your settings and check. And then even if you need to download that new software, it'll be there ready to go. Open your phone settings and look for the general tab in the list. Then continue to the next window and navigate to the software update option just give it a couple of seconds and allow the phone to look for any updates and if there are any to be installed just select download and follow the process on the iphone it's really nice and simple if there are no firmware 
uh, updates to do, then what it'll show here is it'll just show that your iOS software is up to date. Like we mentioned a bit earlier on in the video, that CarPlay is restricted to certain regions across the world. And if you're using a VPN on your device, it might just mean that that region that your VPN is saying you're in is not supported with CarPlay. So the best thing to do here is when you have a VPN on your device, you need to make sure that it is turned off before using CarPlay. And this can really quickly and easily fix any of those CarPlay problems that you have with it not working. Sometimes when things don't work with phones, computers, laptops or anything like that, the best thing to do is turn it off and turn it back on again. But in this case, we're going to show you how you can restart your iPhone to make sure that everything's working absolutely fine. So what you need to do, go into your settings and scroll until you can find the shut down option. What you need to do here is select that and make sure that your phone is shut down and then restart it. Just wait a few seconds, hold the power button and then turn on your device again to make sure that it is all working. The next method here is just to forget the car because sometimes your phone and the car can just get a little bit confused once they've been connected. And once you forget your car and reconnect it again, that can fix most of the issues. So here's how you would do that in your settings. Open your settings and then look for the general section and when you go into there look for the carplay option and just click that on getting into the carplay settings select the car you've connected and choose the option to forget this car once done reconnect the car with the iphone through a proper connection and then this might just fix that problem that you were having with apple carplay the next thing is again something really simple and when you're using carplay sometimes it won't work when your iphone gets locked so there's a setting that you need to change within your settings to make sure it can work while it is locked so go into your settings go to general once again and then find carplay once you're in that carplay section what you'll need to do is just find that toggle to allow carplay while locked option and then this can solve the majority of issues that people have with their apple carplay and finally we mentioned this right at the start of the video you need to go into your settings and make sure that you have siri switched on to help with apple carplay because it is crucial to having carplay work so open your settings go to siri and search and make sure that that option is activated on your phone for Siri to work. It's crucial that you have this, otherwise that is why CarPlay will not work. And then finally, the last option is to actually go to your car and see whether your car has a system software update because that might be a fix that makes sure that both your phone and car are connected and working well together. And that is all the fixes that we have for you in today's video. And if you remember, right at the start of the video, we said that not all phones are compatible with iOS. CarPlay so anything from the iPhone 6 above is anything below that will not be compatible and remember if you needed a big fix for your phone then it is always useful to use that doctor phone software because it can completely help you with a fix for your iPhone and give it a complete system wipe and maybe that's what you need to get CarPlay working again for you and your vehicle. And that brings us to the end of today's video and hopefully that now fixes any of the problems that you had with Apple CarPlay. So if it did, then perfect. Why not like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. And while you're here, hit that bell notification. So what you can have is a new notification every time you upload a video on the channel. And if you do all of that, then we'll see you in the next video.